What's up, everybody? My name is Rome, and this is the story of when we opened up for Trey Songs. All right, this is circa, I think 2011, 12 ish. So, Trey Songs was that guy, you know what I'm saying? He had invented sex, and the neighbors knew his name at the time. So, for us, we were uh we were definitely uh big fans of trey songs at this time and you know it, it was music mike was doing a lot of imitating of trey songs hopefully if we find a little clip we could put it here hey trey songs you feeling good yeah. <laughs> uh the bodies were different let's just say that um mike didn't have the uh the muscles so um <laughs> that was uh fun so of course, we had done a lot of um, things at Georgia State University. A lot of like shows. We had done Greek stuff. We had done a hosting of events, a variety of shows. So we were well known on the Georgia State campus. So well known that people thought we went to the school. We didn't. Mike went to the school. The rest of us didn't go to the school. So uh, they probably think we owe them tuition, but not happening. <clears throat> so. We got invited to open up for a Trey Songs concert that was happening at Georgia State. And at the time, we were still new, still green in the industry of entertainment and performance. But this was a big opportunity for us. We were like, absolutely, we're going to take it. We're going to take it and we're going to kill it because we know. So we prepare for the show, usually, you know, just going through our routine of what we're going to be doing, taking care of things. All of this. So we thinking it's going to be a nice, easy time. You know what I'm saying? But for those who are in entertainment or have done shows, you just know that it doesn't always work that way. So the day of the show comes. Now, what's significant about the day of the show is this is also when our new website was launching. So it's like everything is just happening very... The alignment is, is, is happening. The alignment is taking place and we are excited about what's about to go down. We got our website launching. We about to open up this show. Mama, pick out your car because we out of here. Some would say the anticipation. The anticipation. Which was a Trey song. Which was a Trey song. Mixtape before. The anticipation had us ready. There you go. There we go. So, there the show comes. Now, whenever you do live shows, you are in contact with somebody from the organization that from especially with colleges colleges have these different organizations on campus and this particular organization uh they <clears throat> reached out to us and you know had everything set up for us what time we needed to be there and so forth anybody who knows us especially me and cam we are very prompt and on to prompt and on time when we're doing certain things so we arrived early to the show because we need to make sure that mic check is going good, make sure that, you know, we have all the right equipment, make sure that everything is just taken care of before the show, which a performer, a professional should do. We get there, we arrive. It's, it's in the, it was, it, was it the auditorium part, was it, I believe? Or the, oh, some big, it, it was big. It was, it was yeah, it, it held a couple thousand. We knew, oh, we was like, oh, this the show right here. Is going down now what's funny the juxtaposition of this is at the time we were hot stuff around campus but we knew when Trey songs got there it wasn't it wasn't gonna matter <laughs> we, we weren't going to matter at all all right so we just we just knew that was coming um but we were excited anyway we get there now we're 
first thing we go through is like sound check and you know we get on stage we're doing sound check everything sounds cool all right now for a certain part of our show we needed some chairs so where else are we going to get chairs from but to ask the committee that we working with to get chairs so we asked for chairs thinking nothing of it like hey can we get a couple of chairs cool we still going through you know we going through uh mic checks and doing all this stuff going through the show and then a little bit we i, I remember this specifically because we were backstage and i believe it was chaz he asked can we get a couple waters because like niggas is thirsty we out here we 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 doing work we thirsty mind you let me let me add an important point to this story we not getting paid let's we're just doing this for exposure yeah we're doing this for exposure so we're doing this as young entrepreneurs just trying to get our name out there so everything that we're asking for is very minimal minimal things because when you're not getting paid you, you, you just don't want to you don't want to overdo but you you want to overperform and you want to overperform that's what you want to do you don't you want to just over deliver and to be clear you say everything we asking for two things everything we asking for two things so chair, we ask for chair for the show for the show and water so we get back say chaz asks for water and i remember the countenance of this woman change into a almost like a like huh it was like can we get can we get some water <laughs> we need to survive out here like can we get some water your dry ass might could be all right out here but we need water so can we get some water come to find out because we asked for those two things we were on our high horse now, for those of you who don't know that terminology, it means basically you're acting arrogant, you're acting above others, and as if everybody below you is worthless. We asked for chairs to perform at the free show that we not getting paid for, and water to survive as a human being. <laughs> but we were on our high horse. Now, if this horse is high, then put me up on it because I need water because I, I and the horse would too and the horse would too so I guess so so that we we found that out after the show but first off that's trash because we're asking for minimal literally minimal thing and you'll know why it's trash as we continue this story so we finally get some water I think I don't even remember if we even got the water have no idea now the sh people are coming into the show people coming in the show um it's not starting on time of course so we have to improvise so we do what we do best we jump in head first and we improvise reminding me of the first time we did a show at georgia state and the the um intermission act did not show up and we we told that story that the intermission act did not show up and we had to pivot and adjust so once again we had to pivot and adjust. And there's a quote that says, <clears throat> you can't change the direction of the wind, but you can adjust the sails. And that's what we are known for doing is adjusting the sails. So we go out on stage. Now I wanna tell y'all about what we did because it was epic and I think it's still epic in my mind. There's a part in our act where Tay at the time, uh, he was, had to get danced on. And we have a friend who has a very voluptuous booty, all right? Shout out to Francie. Francie, if you're watching this, hey, I know that thing out there thinking right now. She was the one who came out the bathroom and the ass on the internet. She's the one who came out the bathroom and the ass on the internet video. And she volunteered for this particular act to come and dance on Tay. We didn't know how hard this joke was going to hit, but let me tell you, it hit. Because it was a back that ass up. And we had to like, you know, when niggas like hold your homies up in the club when that when that when that girl get into it. So it looked funny because we all holding up Tay as Francie come out. Nah, nah, nah. What's not how it went? It was somebody else. We was holding them up. Oh, was, yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. made a switch and everyone went crazy. Yeah, yeah. We was holding there. Tay got up on there, but that was a, that was a beautiful part to that show. So mind you, we out here killing it. 
for free for a chair and what? <laughs> and we're extending our time because the Intermission Act didn't show up, which was rich kids. Intermission didn't Act, show up yet. once they again, were. didn't show up late. I mean, didn't show up. They were showing up late. So we've been up there at least two hours, sis. Keeping this crowd ready. I'm told they're not regular late. They they late late. Like it's ridiculous late. And this is annoying. But we keeping the crowd going. Everybody not to getting restless. We telling jokes. We ask a question. We whatever we can to keep it going. So then they finally come. Cool. Blah blah blah. They do their thing. Now this is where the story gets even funnier. So now you have to wait on straight songs is the main act. That's what everybody waiting on. So everybody's anticipating him coming. So he gets there, so now we are like, oh, this our moment. Like, we about to introduce Trey. Trey going, you know what I'm saying, know us, you know, know who we are. You know, we, he might have seen a video or something, so we going to probably chop it up with him backstage because we the host of the show. When I go somewhere and there's a host of the show, usually the host of the show announces the person who's coming on stage. So as we're waiting, literally waiting to go and announce Trey Songs is about to perform, we get a tap on the shoulder, and the tap on the shoulder is like, "Hey, um, Trey don't want y'all to introduce him." We was like, "Huh? We we a host? To, we, yeah, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, Trey don't want y'all to introduce him. He don't. He good." I say, "Well, this right here is a boxer dropper, not a panty dropper." <laughs> Because, well, I'm like, we was just like confused. It was like, so maybe, maybe he has somebody else. Maybe, I think he brought his own introducer to introduce him, or either he just came out. I can't remember how it went exactly, but I know we didn't introduce him. Definitely. Didn't see him. I, honestly, back then, didn't. I didn't. We didn't know. He came, on stage. he came on stage, but we we did we didn't see him. I think they sent us off into the crowd. Like, yeah, y'all go going out there. Yeah, yeah y'all going out there watch the show because this ain't about y'all no more. Y'all done. That's pretty much that was that was our time there, and uh, he came out, he performed, he did his thing. Didn't meet him, didn't see him, didn't. Oh, I mean, yeah, saw him on stage, but yeah, backstage, yeah, now it's a wrap. I don't even remember if we closed the show, to be honest. <laughs> but it's just a it's a lesson in in managing emotions because, like, when you're in that high stress environment of putting a show together. You have to stay cool because the minute the artist or the performer gets out of line, you're the asshole or you're on your high horse. So I think the moral of the story is if you are doing anything for anybody, don't ask for chairs and please don't ask for water because you're going to be looked at as somebody on their high horse and you don't want that. Here's the thing. I don't have a question. I just yeah. have a statement to make yeah. is that we were both doing each other favors. The organization yeah. letting us host and us hosting the show because honestly there were no better hosts not gonna have that show than us but then two for us to keep the crowd going when everything was behind like we was up there for a long we was time up there at least, we at least did three hours <laughs> like that's a long time to keep a crowd entertained so imagine if we said we don't want to do this no more they would have been stuck they, they would have been stuck so it was like Give us that water in those chairs. I would even give it to them if they at first said high horse. Even if they made the mistake and at first said high horse. But after I see somebody on stage for that long not getting paid, I'm like, all right, well, these these people, like, I mean, what else can we ask for them? I, I, can't, I can't ask nothing else from these guys. So, uh, yeah, that's it. But, uh, yeah, that was the time we opened up for Trey Songs. And then uh, here's a little tidbit, a little uh, extra bit. I actually met... Trey, this is maybe like 2016, our, our homegirl, 2016, some, something like that, 2017. She was like, oh, let me uh, introduce you to Trey. So go down there to Trey, <laughs> and uh, she was like, you know, Trey is Rome, uh, Rome is Trey. He was like, yeah, Rome has a you know, comedy group, Dormtainment, that a die, they've been doing this thing. He was like, and this, he said, oh yeah, my dick touched the water. When I shit, my, shit. my dick touched the water. My what he said and I was like yep nice to meet you Trey I should have said hey what happened to that guy to introduce you that time <laughs> so uh yeah that's that's the time we opened up with Trey songs fun times man all right, all right.
right, what comes in the box once you get it? All your retainers. I got 15 of them, so it's going to take me 15 weeks to straighten my teeth. And I only got the top teeth because I need a bottom tooth extracted. But what's cool about Bite, they work with me. So they'll still help me with my top teeth until I get my bottom teeth situated. So I got 15 retainers all in this box. Also, got some accessories. I got you put your retainers in carry around when you take them out to eat or if you out or whatnot at a restaurant you on a date put it in there and i got some whitening foam to use whiten my teeth also you got the hyper bite which is really cool which um cuts your time in half if you use it every day i think it's just for five minutes a day it'll cut your treatment time in half there is the only technology that um, Bite has, the technology that only Bite has, which is really cool. It separates them from all the other competition. So I'm excited to use that. And yeah, so today is the day. I'm gonna open this one. See what it looks like. Boom, but I still get the bottom with it, but it's probably just gonna keep it in place. Where is that? Which is cool, but this is the, my first my first trade for the first week of straightening my top teeth. So, comes with instructions. The way comes with a little sticker that says the wait is over. It is time to bite. I know you can't see it because it's focused out of me. This is cool. Let me pop it in. And it fits. It fits perfectly, actually. And it's comfortable too. But I gotta take it out before I eat or drink anything that's not water. So that's cool. So let me put this in the tray. So if y'all wanna start on this journey, just use my code BITEDT. Hi, my name is Milan. And this is the time I saw demons in Thailand. 